Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, starting off with 144,000, which would be the ruling governing body in the kingdom of heaven. You got the rest of the, the, rest of the elect, which they're all the one third, but you got some of you believers out there, which would be some men, women, and children that will be saved on this side. Um, so like you. And you got uh, our people are called who you call so called black, Hispanic, Native American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, going to Panamanians. Those are the Israelites, always have been, always will be, contrary to popular belief that they are not Israelites. Um, two thirds of our people will be destroyed on this side, but will come back th through the loins of the elect in the kingdom. Um, this is your brother Yeremia coming back at y'all with another video from End Time Headlines. Um, as y'all can see, it says El Paso on high alert as dangerous Venezuelan uh, gang described as M MS-13 on steroid surges in the U.S. Now, you know, I've been seeing this for the past, I'll say, week or so. I haven't done a video on it. But, um, yeah, you know, like, like I said, I've been doing, I've, I've been seeing it and, you know, I'm doing a video on it now, you know. There's been a Venezuelan gang that has taken over um, some apartment complexes. I know in, uh, I think it was called Aurora, Aurora, Colorado, which is uh, like in Denver, some area over there. Um, you know, in the, over there. But this is all, you know, the Lord is doing through, through Esau, man. You know, it's all it is. But, you know, this is going to be everywhere soon if it's not already, you know. <clears throat> but... A lot of these people that are coming over here, man, they just waiting on that call, man. Waiting on that button, you know, that gets pushed, for, that activates, you know, them, them. A lot of them are really soldiers, you know, trained for Esau to fight against these people, to start stuff, to start, you know, to stir up war. That's all prophecy, man. You know, that's all prophecy. And it's what the Lord's doing. You know, the Lord said, <clears throat> um, first of all, I'm going to get Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord said he's a man of war. Right? Let's get that. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. You see that? And also, too, it says in the book of Amos, let me get that. In Amos chapter 3, verse 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people will not be afraid? Right. Shall there be any evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Now, what happened in Aurora, Colorado, you know, there's been a well, gang that have taken over a whole apartment complex that other Jakes were in, you know, and Esau, people, there was somebody, I think that, I think I heard somebody called about them or called on them and Esau pretty much, they said they couldn't do nothing about it because Esau, he's letting, letting it happen. That's why, you know, it's going to get to a point to where shit is going to get so bad, you know, to a point to where they won't chaos to happen they're gonna have to bring out that martial law man that's how bad it's gonna get you know esau wants the chaos to happen man he he might act like he don't want it to happen but you know he wants it to happen you know a lot of you dumb americans man if you really knew what was going on you would have been rose up you would have been did something or been you know uh hanging your your uh your leaders or your people who are set up in the places that can change things but they're not going to do that they want you to revolt man they want these people to be in the uproar man you know we're in that time man we're not in a time of peace and love and kisses and hugs and all that we're, we're not in that time man which we never us israelites had never been this been in that time but there was there was once upon a time where this was not happening you know i'll tell you that but we're in a different time now man all hills are brought to break loose man you know, these people live a different lifestyle. They do this for fun, man. They cut off heads, cut off body parts, sell them. You know, you got a thing called the, uh, what's it called? The dark web, you know, that, that people be on, you know, which, <clears throat> um, hey, that's a, a wicked and vow, you know, uh, thing, man, that people do, man, you know, that they own her, you know? People doing all types of dark and evil things, but the Lord is in control of that evil, man, you know? And uh, that's why we push these videos, man. We hope to be protected from this evil Lord, willing, man. Baba Kesha, Baba Kesha, man. You know, that's why we go out to the highways of ages. You know, we want to be protected from these things. We know we're going to have to be, we're going to have to see certain things, you know. We're going to have to be, to be saved out of trouble, you have to be in trouble. You have to be in a situation. 
you know but um you know this is only going to increase it's only going to intensify you know the scriptures tell you it's like edges man this is that's that's what time we're in we're in the time of second edge chapter 15 and chapter 16 happening man just chaos you know which all hell ain't broken loose yet but we're, we're very very close um, this is second edges 15 and verse 14 it says woe to the world to make the world therein see that means death and destruction it's talking about the whole world not just america babylon but i'm talking about america babylon it says for the sword and the destruction draw off nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands right you got different you know um races of people different uh classes of people man they're gonna be fighting against each other man even people that are the same you know they're gonna fight against their own right it says for there should be sedition among men right and invading one another that's gonna happen man that's what they did they invaded the apartment complex they kicked out the old people who the not they're not old but like the people who originally lived there that was paying rent it reminds you too a lot of these people that's coming over here that esau is giving them money He's giving them food stamps. You know, he's giving them free housing. You know, you got all different types of people who are from different countries, not just Venezuela, from China, from, you know, uh, <clears throat> I said Venezuela, South America, you know, Mexico, different different places, Japan, you know. You got a lot of these people over here, man, that ain't supposed to be over here, but, you know, it's all through the will of the Lord, you know. And it's going to it's gonna get to this point, man, where it's going to be happening everywhere. They're going to invade your personal privacy you know once if you ever had your home broken into you you know what it feels like man you you don't feel comfortable living there no more once that happens you know you want to move you know it's i'm gonna read it read it um rest the rest of it. it says they should not regard their kings no princes right the people in america will eventually i feel i believe you know speaking as a man they will eventually start doing stuff not everybody but you know they will get to the point to where they start rebelling and you know uh going against you know their own because of how bad it is <clears throat> it says they should not regard the kings and their princes which are you leaders and the courses should and their actions should stand in their power so they're going to continually do what they do regardless of what the people want what the people say it says a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able right you know martial law which that means they're going to lock off certain sections of the city or whole cities you know they're going to set up checkpoints you know roadblocks blockades whatever you want to call them they're going to set up all of this you know because of things like that happening it's going to be happening everywhere man you know this is a little off topic but um i wanted to bring up something that happened here in louisville um you have uh what's that girl name you had this one eve J brianna taylor she got shot down here a couple years ago and um you know that uh officer they just Hey, they just dropped all the charges, you know, which that's in the scriptures, man. You know, Esau gets off, man, because it's, it's his kingdom. He's not in trouble with other men, you know, and that, that's going to have a lot of Jake's turned up, you know, which they was turned up a couple years ago when it first happened. You know, so Esau, he, he he's the spirit of, he, he has the spirit of just death, chaos, confusion. That's the spirit that's on this man. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The house should be destroyed and men should be afraid, right? All this judgment, all this evil is going to take place because people's pride, you know, their wickedness. Hey, everywhere you go, it's going to be trouble, man. Eventually, it's going to be like, you know, mad max out here, man. You know? It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, right? And this is going to be not even just because of uh, Venezuela gangs or other migrants that are out here. It's going to be everybody's gonna be like that towards each other just you know hey they they're they gonna be in the spirit of not, not want to deal with you they're gonna want to take your life away you don't want to take theirs but should destroy the house with the sword and should spoil the good because of lack of bread for great tribulation so that's coming to a famine you know like i said these people that's coming over here and that are over here they are they been living that life man so they used to it it's just you people over in america you're not used to it you look you used to getting everything quick fast you know easy you ain't gotta work for it you ain't gotta figure out how you gonna eat every day you know they they i'm pretty sure they don't got like grocery stores you can go to they gotta literally fight for their food probably you know how they live you know if they don't get that piece of bread they gonna cut your head off man that's how that's how these people are man they like that now when the society's still up and running oh man 
You know, that's why we need that protection, man. We ain't gonna be able to, you know, fight this by ourselves, man. You know, we need Yahweh Shem Yahweh man. You know, these times we coming in, man. But the Lord is at least unleashing that spirit on Esau, man. What's the description of Revelation 6? All right. I'm gonna get this Revelation 6 and verse uh, 4 says, And there went out another red, another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. This man takes peace from the earth everywhere he goes. And they shall kill one another. They there was given to him a great sword. So, you know, that's the spirit of Esau follows, man. The scriptures say how how uh this is Iraq. The way of the ruler is so the people of the city are. You know, I'm paraphrasing it. Right? It's Sarek 10 and 2. It says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers of what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that well they're in. And that's Esau, man. And that's the people, man. He he allows this, man. Because he's like that. He goes everywhere and kills people and destroys people and causes chaos and causes death. And, you know, which the Lord is, you know, ain't really controlling that. But he's putting the spirit on Esau to do it because that's how he made Esau. You know? And the people follow, man. This man, he ain't a true righteous leader, man. He's a wicked leader. And that's how he's going to be. You know, so I just want to do a quick video on this, man. You know, this is going to be everywhere pretty soon, man. You know, brothers, you know, hey, stay in this truth, man. You know, Lord willing, you know, you very few sisters keep believing. You know, if you're a part of the elect, the Lord's going to guide you, you know, to a man of the Lord. You know, things is getting bad out here, man. <clears throat> you know, we ain't in Jacob's trouble yet, but we very, very close, man. You know, at my, at my job, I see people walking around and I'm like, I know they ain't supposed to be over here. Matter of fact, every couple of months ago, I seen a, um, a girl, she told me she was from Venezuela. So they everywhere. They not just in certain states. They everywhere, I believe. You know, they already over here. You know, they acting like they just came on over here. They been over here. But once Esau tell you something, it's been happening. You, you you're, We're actually, that's actually late news to, to, to the people. Once Esau tell you something. You know, it ain't just brand new. He just found out too. No, no. You got to be, this man is 10 steps ahead of what the people are. You know, best believe that. You know? The scriptures say this man speak with a forked tongue. You know, it says never trust our enemies. You ain't supposed to trust him. So, you know, with that, I'm going to close out, man. I hope this video was edifying to you like the Lord's sheep, man. Brother, stay focused. Stay, you know, in this truth. You know, Lord willing. You know, um, pray to you about Shai for, you know, mercy, man. That's what we need. Mercy. You know, more faith in the latter days. You know, I'm talking to myself first and foremost. You know, we all need it. You know, we don't want to be in the time when the Lord turns his face from us, man. We don't want to, we don't want to be that, you know? So just keep, you know, keep doing your videos, man. Keep being diligent, you know, keep going down the highways and hedges, you know, keep praising how about Shemar Shad, you know, don't turn to the right hand or to the left. You know, I'm, I'm paraphrasing certain scriptures, but you know, we need your how about Shemar Shad, man. I need your how about Shemar Shad. I know I do, you know, I ain't saying that, you know, Yahweh Shad is the most high and all this, all the stuff these other camps are saying, man, they bugged out. You know, but, you know, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close out, you know, like I see it, you know. Um, so, you know, I hope, I hope the video was edifying, you know, once again. Um, I want to say all praises and all honor and glory to you. How about you be on Shai by Shimmer Kakwadash, Double Honest and the Elders of the Great Millstone, Tabernacle of David. Um, I want to say Wad Baba Ba, Shalom.